made it out to Lewis and Harris on the Outer Hebrides. Oh, absolutely incredible. So excited to be here. Just parked up in the van and met one of the uh, locals. He lives just down the road. He's out here surfing. Uh, some nice waves out there today. And he gave me a good tip off about a sea arch further down uh, the cliff here. So I think that's going to be the, the first port of coal is uh, go on a bit of an explore and see what catches my attention. First though, I think I need a, a coffee that will pick me up and then uh, go on a walk and see if anything catches my attention. Check this out. Spectacular views all the way down this uh, west coast of the Isle of Lewis. And this is sort of typical for the Isle of Lewis. You find these really dramatic, jagged cliffs, uh, sandstone and limestone, I believe. And just out at the end of the next peninsula is this incredible sea arch. The waves are sort of crashing and swirling around it. Oh, it's incredible, incredible. Before I break out the, uh, the camera and get working, I was listening to a podcast on the way here uh, with Rick Rubin and he was talking about the creative process and how art happens not in the, the making of the thing but in uh, the way that you notice and you approach life itself. So I'm going to force myself to not rush into trying to find a composition and rather spend a bit of time walking around this area and uh, trying to find something that really jumps out to me and speaks to me, uh, something that I connect with. So that's what I'll do for now. I won't break out the camera right away, even though that arch is, uh, is calling for a photograph. It'll happen, but I'm gonna give it 10 minutes to, uh, to let my brain work, as it were. <laughs> right, let's uh, have a wee explore of this little rock peninsula. So, I, uh, I really do like the sea arch, but on its own it's a very small element in the frame just because it's quite far off in the distance. So I'm trying to find um, something in the, the geology and the shape of these uh, rocks that sort of stick out the grass here on this peninsula that either matches or juxtaposes against uh, the form of the other rock. So you can see here this one behind me is sort of starting to do it, that shape sort of is similar to the shape of the arch, um, but it's, it's not quite right. There you can get a good view. So um, there's a few others down there that have got these beautiful striations in them, um, and I think that might be uh, the way that I end up going. I think the uh, the layering in those stones sort of speaks to the layering and the way that the arch is being eroded by the water. So I think there's a good connection there between those two things. That's a bit stronger than just the simple form of something in the foreground. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go and play with a few uh, compositions now, break out the camera, do some uh, handheld uh, composition hunting, and just playing around with a few frames, see what we can come up with. So I thought I'd just show you quickly, this is one of the rocks here that's got some of that wonderful striation. Um, but to me, the shape of it and the way that it's leaning down to the left 
um, doesn't quite interact in the way that I want with the the rock arch there. So uh, while it's a, a cool foreground element, I don't think it quite works in this instance, although um, I'm still going to have a bit of a play around with some other versions, some other uh, frames of this foreground. So again, trying to find something that uh, lines up and this crack here, trying to bring it into that line, and then there's this crack here, which I'm trying to bring into that line. Um, there's, there's something there, but I'm, I'm not 100% sold on it. So this was the other uh, set of foreground rocks that I thought was quite interesting. The cracks are really cool, and it might be a photograph on its own, to be fair, um, but they're a bit busy going in the opposite direction to these striations, and in order to sort of uh, frame this up properly, you've got to get quite close and up quite high, which means I'll need a, a wide-angle lens on, which will diminish the sea arch even more. Ideally, I'd be able to step back and put a longer lens on from up high, um, but I can't quite get that perspective. So, in this case, it's uh, there's always going to be a, a pretty big compromise, and I don't think it's quite worth it, because the way that that sea arch there is isolated I think is quite an important part of this narrative. Um, so I don't think this works either, but there is one more rock face just down there, um, which I think might be a good balance of all of the elements. So composition is uh, always a balance, it's always a compromise, and in this case I think there's going to be a shot here with this uh, rock face coming in and trying to lead those uh, lines and sort of a wavy pattern across to down to the arch. Um, I think I'm going to have to get quite a bit closer here and then it's going to be a case of what lens do I put on, exactly how do I position myself so that this foreground rock doesn't feel too dominant in the frame. Um, ideally I'd like to use a slightly longer focal length to uh, bring these two elements into relation with one another. But yeah, that's sort of the thinking that I'm going through with the composition. I'll show you the final uh, frame up once I've decided. I've got more or less uh, the final frame there. I'll have a play around with the crop um, in post and see if a 16.9 or a 3.2, whether to include the horizon or not, that's something that I'm not 100% sure on at this moment. Um, I am happy with the way that I've lined up those striations. I think it flows nicely. And I think there's a good emphasis or balance between the foreground and that sea arch. In terms of uh, the technicals, I think I'm going to try a few filters out now, uh, prolong that exposure, just clean up some of the uh, sea that's splashing and crashing around the sea arch. I think that'll look quite nice. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to do a focus stack here. Uh, probably, probably two shots will be fine. I'm far enough away and I'm only at about 40 mil, so it's nothing, um, nothing crazy here. But two shots of the... Uh, focus stack should do nicely and there's a good clean edge there of the rocks so it'll be uh, an easy one in Photoshop. Focus stacking 5 seconds f11 ISO 100. I've got a circular polarizer and a 6 stop and defilter. That looks, that looks really, really good.
so before the light fades too much, I did just want to mention that I am running a workshop here on the Isle of Lewis and Harris in October, November 2023. So if you are interested in joining me on the island, there will be a link down in the description below that takes you over to my website where I've got all the details. Thanks so much, and I'm going to wrap up the video here. The light's fading. I'm going to wander a bit more down the beach, but I think uh, that's going to be it for tonight. So as always, see you in the next one. Cheers.